Brendan, Brendan, the winner of the match, running uh, Mr. Return of the Jedi here. So uh, he's going to talk about his match. Let me know if you guys have any questions for him. Okay. Hi everybody, how's it going? Uh, Brendan here. And so, any questions coming from about the uh, actual list? Okay. Well then. Yeah. So the very first thing I had uh, thought about is that uh, I've actually run a similar list to uh, what uh, Kurt was running uh, with three X wings and a Z95. It used to be my go-to thing. Uh, stress bot 4.0. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of the, a lot of the reasons why I built Luke the way he does is that way he can uh, fire at the same pilot skill as Wes Jansen. So if another ship has Rebel Captive, I can actually spread the stress around so that way I don't have one ship taking all of it. Or I can choose uh, the activation. So if I need one ship to get an action and not the other one, Luke, with his innate focus ability, he can bump and still technically have a soft focus, whereas Wes might need that. So it's kind of like how you would fly uh, advanced sensors B-wings or, or something like that. You know, you know you have an action handy that's available, and you just go ahead and take it. A lot of times what I would want to do is take a target lock with Luke like what I did in the beginning. Uh, but later on... Okay. Uh, 68. Yeah. So, going into this, I knew it would kind of turn into a jousting match. Uh, Luke and Wes are going to activate at the same time, which gives me more flexibility for their maneuvers. If I need, if I need to bump or whatever, I can choose to bump Luke first because of his in a soft focus for, you know, if defense. Uh, Wes Jansen is kind of dependent on some actions, but in some cases he might have a better shot if he bumps so that we can keep people in arc. So I always have that option open to me for those shifts. Uh, Wedge is supposed to hang around a little bit longer, but at, I've played Kurt and this list before, and the net effect of me attacking Wedge, Jan or Wedge Antilles with my Wedge Antilles is normally just that both Wedges die in the same turn. <laughs> And it basically negates everything. So this time, uh, my idea was to go after some of his things that cause a few more effects rather than going for just the guy who can deal damage. Because I have, I have the same three X-wings, you know, going. You know, they all have the same stat line. I know that if I can just, you know, maybe maneuver a little bit better and activate last with those two tens, I'll be okay with that. Oh. Are they actually able to hear me, though? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I had to turn it off and turn it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Luke, I mean, Luke would, you know, if he takes a focus endgame, he'll be able to relatively use, you know, at least one focus eye on his evade from his natural pilot ability. So I can save that focus action and just regain shields almost as easily, if not better, than with R2-D2, who limits you basically to one turns and you know, a two straight or a one straight, which is not good for maneuvering. And so this one leaves him open to a lot more abilities, like he can go ahead and do a white maneuver or, you know, or the green maneuvers with a regular X-Wing and still have that ability to regen a shield. Okay, I'll uh, cut it back on and turn it on. That, I was expecting that my one bank would keep me relatively out with most of your stuff, and that my three hard would get me close enough in with less. I didn't expect the bump to happen. Bailey, I mean, it was kind of like a, a misplay, misjudgment. If I had just done a three gentle, yeah. So 
I was trying to, I was trying to cut it in without getting half your ships, and, and then it ended up being half your ships had me in arc. So I'm gonna hand you over to Kurt real quick. Hey everybody. Um, so that was kind of a game we played many times over. I played that same list against against this at least three or four times. Um, usually it's just the dice. Um, yeah. A very good game on the offense. I, I feel good about having Tarn at the end. Tarn is, is nearly as tanky as Luke is. Um, you know, look at how many turns he ran around, how many hits he canceled from Luke. So, felt terrible about, uh, about that miss of uh, focus. I think that really decided the game. Um, so, always take your actions, even if you don't think they matter, because that focus miss probably cost me that game. But, um, Good game as usual, Brandon. We're just playing these lists against each other, and uh, hopefully the next game will go a little better for both of us. Are there any questions out there? Okay. Where are we located? We are in Atlanta, Georgia, just north of Atlanta. And actually, these X wings are not really the meta. It's really just the two of us that run these all the time. Yeah, that's my thing. I want the X wing to be competitive and make it competitive by forcing it on everyone else. Yeah, we're we're not so much on the fat pawns down here. Dashes and decimators. Ted, yeah, today I don't think I've seen any dashes out there. No phantoms, really one phantom, only two decimators, so today's actually been a pretty good variety.